try to steal my sauce I had to take a loss That shit made me a boss This journey took some time We put in overtime Make sure my brothers grind So all my brothers shine And they want me to fall But I remain the same I'll die for my bros And that'll never change What's good, YouTube? It's Supreme J here. Now, today we are in the next chapter of life. Exciting, exciting times. Uh, so, listen up, y'all. Basically, right now, obviously, I'm in the process of thinking about what's next. But the first thing that I got to do, right, is realistically, I have three cars that I like enough that I would buy, right? The number one choice, without a doubt, the dream car is a C7. Uh, it doesn't have to be fully loaded. I just, I just, I just love the body of the C7. I don't care if it's a six-speed, eight-speed. Obviously, right? I just love the body. So that's the number one choice. Realistically, I don't think any dealer around here is gonna let me test drive a C7. Driven a Corvette in my life. Only when I was a little kid, I had that little toy one. So it's gonna be exciting to uh, test drive some form of Corvette, get a feel for it, see if I like it or not, and. Um, who knows I have my eye on a c7 seeing if i can make some things happen um it's 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 priced in my opinion perfectly especially with the ridiculous prices in the used car market uh if i could it's in texas though that's a little problem it's not that much a problem you just pay for shipping but it's kind of like so i wouldn't really just be like okay this is the total for the taxes and whatnot What's your down payment? You know, it's kind of like, well, I have to go finance the price of the car and then I would be paying for the taxes and the shipping out of pocket. So that would be like my down payment. Um, but if I can get the dealer to lower it, even just like a thousand to two thousand dollars more, I'm probably going to go for that one if we can make it happen. It's absolutely beautiful. Who knows? It would be dope having the trailer pull up on me. Just got to see. So enjoy this vlog. Stay tuned. Too. We'll be checking out this Grand Sport Corvette. Just checking it out. I've never been inside a C6, so I gotta see how I like it. But here it is. It's all black. I do like that part. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, YouTube. So today, let me ease myself up. Today is the next day. Jesus. Today is the next day, and I've had some time to think about my experience test driving the 2010 uh, Grand Sport 3LT. So for those of you that don't know anything about Corvettes, and I'm still learning myself as I'm looking to get one, is basically a 3LT basically means it's fully loaded. I think there's something called a 4LT, which I don't even know what the hell else it has. Um, and a Grand Sport is like the middle version between like a base or Stingray and a Z06. Uh, it usually has like components of the Z06 that the base doesn't have like suspension, and brakes and whatnot um, and like the little lip or whatever uh, so it just doesn't give you that extra power so I test drove a 2010 one and let's go over the interior right LT featured heated seats um, the AC worked really good it, I, it generally felt cooler than my Mustang did for AC uh, the touchscreen it was third-party aftermarket uh, you know the past owner installed it you can get a whole bunch of kind. Uh, that owner, he he installed a, a pretty reputable brand, Pioneer. So it didn't have Apple CarPlay though. So, you know, I think that's something big is I really do enjoy Apple CarPlay, especially as someone that usually needs navigation because I'm bad with directions. Um, that's something that, you know, I would have wanted to switch out pretty soon if I were to buy the car. Um, the dash it's not the digital dash obviously it's too old for that it was nice but and it did have the heads up display which was very cool but i do like the digital dash because it showed me important things that i liked to look at such as the tire pressure on each individual tire um the sound system sounded amazing it was both speakers those things i didn't even get it to full volume and it, was, it sounded freaking amazing i love music personally I like to hear my music good. Sometimes I felt like the Mustang was a little bit lacking in that department. The Bose system sounded really good and I can only imagine what a newer Corvette's sound system with the Bose would sound like. That's actually one of the appealing things to me about 
another car that I'm looking at, which is a Q60, because it has like 13 speaker Bose system. They have beautiful interiors. Obviously, they're just not V8, so they don't have the power. But yeah, so as far as the interior goes, the seats were nice. It had things that I really do like that I'm really missing right now driving my mom's 06 Mustang. Into the exterior. So for Grand Sport, it has different fenders. It has the wide body fenders in the rear. Um, you know, it had the little lip already, I believe, put in. The suspension was lowered. It had big brakes already. It looks cool. Um, on the one I was looking at, the headlights are starting to fog up. And in general, I absolutely am disgusted by C6 headlights. I don't like them at all. Uh, but in order to get that updated look, you have to pay like $1,300 for some more Emoto, I believe they're pronounced, headlights. And that fixes the problem with, that they have with the front end. But you really can't fix the problem that I have with the rear. And this is just all personal preference for me. I am in love with the rear end of a C7. On the C6, it just doesn't do it for me. Um, it kind of has the quad exhaust, but they're still kind of separated. I know that you can just have the, you know, the exhaust shot, put them all together. So that fixes that little discrepancy. But the C7 has this super unique rear end that has a massive diffuser on it. And the way the body lining is and all of that stuff with the headlights kind of drooping down along with the the, um, the the bumper it's just something else right and the c set c6 just doesn't do that for me now let's get into me driving it every i was really feeling the car despite what i'm talking about with the rear end uh but once i got to driving it i didn't feel that back in my seat type feeling and obviously you know i'm not gonna freaking just mash on the pedal and go but also one thing too, the pedal felt very stiff. I felt like I had to use a lot of pressure to lay down the gas, right? I'm glad that I got to test drive the C6 because I really was considering it. But now that I test drove it, I just know that it's not the one, you know? I knew that I wanted a Mustang um, for my first car. I wanted to have the car for longer than I did. It just didn't work out like that. But even the first time that I sat in the, the driver's seat, you just feel it, right? And and when I drove it, it confirms it, you know, like I was like, yeah, I love this car. With the C6, I, I sat in it and I was like, yeah, you know, I, I like this car, I could feel it. When I started driving it, it was just a, a different experience that maybe I'm not used to because Corvettes are just a different breed than Mustangs. But I don't know, I just couldn't get a smile on my face. And, you know, I don't wanna have to go and buy like a pedal throttle commander or, you know tune it or whatnot i don't want to do that especially right away and it would just be disappointing all that time that i would have the car and you know and then on top of the fact that i would have to buy new headlights and stuff you know i, th I feel like it, it's better for me personally to just wait let the car market car market drop a little bit more and get the dream car you feel me life is too short you know it's, you know i just that's just the way i look at life man like if you want something go out and get it go follow your dreams if you want your dream car whether that's a shelby gt350 a hellcat a z01 if you want your dream car bro do whatever you think you can do to go and get it even if it takes you a couple months a year two years just follow you just follow it bro that's that's what that's what i'm just telling myself right now you just wait and it's going to be worth it the, the first time that you drive off the dealership in your dream car is going to be worth it, you know, but I just, I wouldn't settle. I wouldn't settle for driving my mom's Mustang around for who knows how long. I wouldn't settle for, you know, driving around in an old Honda Civic and no, no disrespect to anyone that does, but that's just me. That's just my heart. You know, I, I like what I like and, you know, I just, I do it for me. I do it for myself to be proud of myself it's what i want it's what i love and no one's going to change my mind on that period follow your dreams because life is too short that's what i gotta say but i'm probably gonna edit all that out that was just me rambling hopefully you guys enjoyed stay tuned for any future videos i don't know what else i got planned but i'll cook up something for y'all